Six women with albinism. Six Africans determined to transform the way the world views their condition by taking on the biggest challenge of their lives. As I walk through the valley of life and death, I will fear no evil as I take every step. With my faith, I've moved mountains. With my faith, I'll be speaking on mountains. I'm on my way, on my way. The climbers set off October 1st. Scaling Africa's highest mountain is no easy feat for any climber. For those with albinism, it is an exceptional challenge. I've never had to, to deal with that much like sun exposure um, and to have my, my low vision challenged to that extent. Um, so definitely a really difficult environment. Nkomanzi says growing up with albinism in Zimbabwe was not as bad as in many other countries, where myth and superstition can often lead to abuse and violence. But she suffered discrimination on a daily basis. I was very much made fun of at school. Um, I was harassed typically in public and just walking across the street. Despite tremendous adversity, Nkomanzi graduated from Yale University in the United States and is now an educational consultant. Mariamu Stafford overcame perhaps the greatest challenge. She was attacked in her home by a group of men who hacked off her arms with a machete. She now runs her own textiles business in Tanzania. All of the women volunteered for the climb to try to raise the visibility of people with albinism. Especially when women with albinism are discussed in media, for example, the narrative is usually that of victimhood and pity. And we wanted to show that we are more capable of, um, of accomplishing and succeeding in challenges that, that go far beyond the, the stereotypes that we are usually attached to. Four team members reached camp at 4,700 metres before stopping on medical advice. Two continued the climb, Nkomanzi and Kenyan teammate Jane Waitera, who had to stop just 20 metres from the summit due to a knee injury. In the end, it was Nkomanzi who represented the team at the 5,895-metre summit of Kilimanjaro, reaching the top October 7th. Remarkable personal achievements for all the climbers, and perhaps a step forward in the fight to end discrimination and abuse against people with albinism. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.